Hey, Luke Clausen here with Dave Brinkerhoff, the product manager for G Loomis. I want to tell you a little bit about the MBR series of rods that's now been introduced into the IMX Pro line. And with this, I mean, you know, Luke, you're obviously, you know, pretty well in tune with what the MBRs are, but in the new IMX Pro line, we've got eight different uh, MBRs in there, and they're all the way from, you know, six foot six, your 782s, 783s, things like that, all the way up to some newer models in there for a 903 and 904. But, you know, you've You've been around a little while and uh, you're pretty familiar with that MB style action and you know tell us a little bit about some of your favorite stuff in there. Yeah you know the actions are something I've been used to just I cut my teeth using these rods. I've, I've used the MBR rods since I was 15 years old or younger and I think a lot of people that have been around Loomis are very familiar with them. Uh, also dubbed the classic actions, very traditional fast action rods. G Loomis has made these actions for a long time, uh, really well suited for a lot of multi-purpose rods. You know, a lot of these rods can be used for a multitude of things, but come in a range of different lengths and actions. Um, yeah, and you know, Luke, on this, some of the key components are um, Fuji Alkanite guides. And with those guides, you know, obviously they're a little bit lighter. Um, they're, you know, in that mid price point or mid range uh, for Fuji, um, which, you know, helps us lighten up that tip a little bit and, you know, gives you a little bit more action as well as, um, you know, there's single foot runners on the top of it. So it does help that action quite a bit on, you know, what you're talking about, that more moderate or, or it's a fast action, but it still has that moderate flex into the midsection, which is much more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely noticed that the, 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 the build of the rod often lends well to loading when you're catching a lot of fish. And uh, it balances so well, again, because of the guide train, I think, anyway. Uh, all the components have always been something that have always felt really good in my hand, even from, the, you know, the balance of the rod but to the grips, too. Right which is really important when you fish for you know, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, uh, especially when you're throwing a moving bait or you're putting a lot of pressure on the rod with its power techniques, whatever it may be, that comfort in your hand is really important. Yeah, and you know, one more key feature just to talk about real quick on this, um, on all the IMX Pros. So it's not a split grip, but it is minimized in this midsection, so it does kind of give you that minimized feeling with it, but it still has the full you know, grip feel to it. So it is a little bit more comfortable, but you do have that minimal effect of you know, a little bit less material in there, and, and it helps the, the swing weight a little bit better and, and all of that. Yeah, and I think it's less hand fatigue just being smaller. You ever pick up a rod with a, a bigger cork section, bigger grip section, you have a lot more hand fatigue for sure. Thanks a lot, Dave. I appreciate the information. I'm excited to go try the new MBRs and IMX Pro. Make sure to check them out. Pick some up at TackleWarehouse.com.